everyone, I'm just showing you the new uh, summer infant beside the bed um, sleeper here. And um, as you can see, it's a really good size. It actually um, is bigger than it looks on the photographs and on the box. I was quite worried that Charlotte wasn't going to fit in because she's quite a big baby. She's five weeks old, but she's really, really long. Um, so you can see she's still got a decent amount of room. Her feet are pretty much at the bottom, apart from when she's kicking them up. Um, and she's got a good good few inches left to grow so the nice thing about this crib is that if your baby has reflux like mine does um, you can lift the head here by just pulling this up and there we have the crib on an incline so it just raises her slightly which makes it a little bit more comfortable for her um, it's really easy to put it back down there's a button on either side here that you press. Now, don't press them both together when your baby's in the crib because it does clunk down. Um, so what you want to do is just press one at a time, hold the top of the crib, press one side, press the other side and lower it down slightly so it's a little bit more safe. Um, now this crib does rock side to side like this and you can lock it so it doesn't rock as much so um, what you would do is you would press this green button on the end here in and that rocks it so it's not got quite a swing to it um, one of the things that I have noticed about this is that even when it's in locked position if she rolls slightly to the side it does tend to tip a little bit particularly if you're if the crib is a bit further away from the bed as you can see there um, so if it's a bit closer it's it's you know it's not so bad but um, I think it might be worth uh, trying this with something like a baby nest inside or a sleepy head um, and just to make her a little bit more comfortable so she's not rolling from side to side as much my personal opinion there um, so on the crib we also have this detachable uh, little thing here, it just, just clips on the side and it has um, a vibrate for the, for the crib, so I'm just going to switch this on here. Now this is the strongest setting. As you can hear it is quite noisy. Um, and we just turn it down a bit so not as loud but still probably soothing for the baby in the feeling of it but it is quite a, a loud noise if you've got the baby next to you and you're trying to sleep it's a little bit like having builders outside so personally not a fan of of that one but I do like how you can take this off and maybe put it on another crib somewhere if you were moving your baby from room to room during the day and they liked that that um, vibrates on the crib um, so it's also got a uh, heartbeat sound and rainforest sound and some music here now you can skip the different type of music by pressing this arrow at the top And if you press the button at the bottom, this changes the volume. So you've got um, low, medium, high and off. So that's off, low volume, medium and high. And then to switch the music off, you just put this down to the bottom. Um, and there is also a night light here, which you just press. So uh, that's the first setting for the night light slightly brighter, slightly brighter again, and then off. I know that lots of you do like to have your baby um, in one of these baby pillows. This is a sleepy head, so this is just to demonstrate that this does fit inside uh, the summer infant crib. Um, quite snug, but um, keeps your baby in there nice and secure, and it minimises that issue that I mentioned before of when you're rocking the crib 
they're not rolling from side to side when they're when they're quite small and they've you know got quite a lot of room in here so this just keeps them a little bit more secure so that's a positive for me um because we do quite like to use this so i'm just going to show you um how this would work with the incline as well as you can see not a problem at all having your chosen pillow nest in there with the incline at the same time um the other thing i'm going to show you is how to unlock the rock on here so i'm just going to change the view of the camera so you can see this a little bit better so you remember that this this crib has a swing mechanism to it you can rock it from side to side like this and it does swing quite a fair bit if you want to lock it slightly to minimize the swing you would press this button here and it locks the swing so it does still swing but not as much as before um, now to unlock it you would um, use these two finger grooves here and twist it round until the button pops out. It's really difficult to do with one hand so I'm going to recommend that you use um, two, th two thumbs actually and so you would press it in, twist it round and then let go. It's not the easiest thing to do but I actually find that quite tricky and it took me a while to work out how to do that but as you can see there the swing is unlocked. Finally, I want to show you um, that there are some height adjusters on um, this crib. Um, we have got it on the highest one because we have a particularly high bed and I want to be able to see her through the, through the mesh here when I'm lying in bed. Um, but it's really simple to adjust. I'm not going to adjust it because obviously she's in the crib at the moment. Um, but this button here basically just pushes in and you can slide the legs up and down and then through the other holes there.